Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. I'm Ji Chen from Zhejiang University, China, and I'm currently a graduate student under Associate, Associate Professor Yu Hua Chen. But uh, he has some difficult experiments in our lab today. So I will make this presentation instead of him. Uh, so I'm very honored to share our experiments and uh, conduct academic exchange with you here. And what I'm going to show is about uh, real-time reconstruction using structured illumination microscopy based on electro-optic modulators and uh, galvanometers. And uh, I will introduce my presentation from the following five aspects. They are research background and significance methods of hardware and software design. And the results of our experiment and uh, finally the conclusion. Firstly, I will introduce our research background and uh, its uh, significance. So uh, as we know, in order to solve the problems caused by diffraction effects, and break through the diffraction limits of optical imaging systems. A variety of super-resolution microscopy imaging technologies in the true things have emerged one after another. Uh, and uh, uh, three different uh, technologies are included. They are structured illumination microscopy, stimulated emission depletion, and uh, the single mo molecular localization microscopy. These three technologies use different principles, each with its own advantages and uh, disadvantages. Uh, the same technology can achieve twice the resolution improvement compared to the traditional optical microscope. Although the resolution improvement is uh, uh, a little uh, is slightly insufficient compared with uh, the other two technologies. Uh, it has the advantages of uh, just like uh, a faster, ima faster image speed and a low excitation light intensity. And SIM has the advantages of less photo bleaching and no need for uh, special fluorescent dyes. It has a wide application prospect in life science, and especially in the field of life cell imaging. Uh, and theme as is based on a common optical illusion known as the Moore effect. Uh, when two high frequency patterns are super superimposed on each other, low frequency, more fringes will be generated. By illuminating the sample with the fringe light with a cosine structure, uh, it is uh, possible to collect the high frequency information in the form of low resolution, more fringes, and uh, uh, which are not available due to lens aperture limitations. And then, the high frequency information is uh, separated from the low frequency information uh, through the post, post processing to reconstruct the super resolution image. So uh, what are our research significance and uh, purpose? Uh, Compared with the same hardware system based on mechanical grating and a spatial light modulator, and uh, the scanning gal gal <coughs> sorry, galvanometer can achieve higher laser utilization and more flexible fringe structure change. Uh, but the image speed of this structure is limited by the piezo electric platform. And in addition, the common steps of data acquisition and the reconstruction of same system of the same system 
are separated. And uh, the calculation is time consuming. So uh, for us, our main research significance and uh, purpose is to improve the image speed of the light field system controlled by the scanning galvanometer. And we built we build a real-time software system to improve the image efficiency. Now, the next is the method of hardware design. Uh, that's the overall system optical path uh, is this uh, figure. Uh, in the illumination optical path, laser is divided into two beams with an intensity ratio of 0 0.7 to 4 by the PBS1, so that the final intensity ratio at the objective length is 0 0.7 to 1 to 1. And enhancing the high frequency information in 3, 3D scene. The transmitted light is divided into two beams with an intensity ratio of one to one by the PBS2, which are the illumination lights for 2D scene to form in interference fringes and the CH light of 3D scene. And the transmitted light in the two beams changes its phase through the EOM1 and the and the two beams change their positions on the BFP service through the scanning galvanometer systems uh, GM1 and uh, GM2 so as to form the direction of the uh, interfer interference fringe as shown by the the green points in the red box the beam is focused on the conjugate plane of the rear focal plane of the objective lens through the lenses L1 and L2. And the polarization direction is changed through the pizza half wave plate so that it can maintain S polarization in different different directions. The beam reflected from PBS1 is the, is the intermediate beam of 3D C. And the phase is changed through the EOM2, converted into circularly polarized light through a quarter wave plate. And the optical path difference, uh, and the optical path difference with the H beam is accurately compensated through a weight plate. After focusing on the conjugate, conjugate plane of the rear focal plane of the objective lens through lens L3, and it is reflected by the center silver film of the beam combining plate BCP and the form center Interfer interference uh, fringes with the other two beams on the sample surface. The opening and the closing of the shutters can switch the microscopic image system between 2D and 3D to de detect the light paths and collect the excited fluorescent uh, pattern of the sample. The control part is used to control the hardware movement. And here we show the physical diagram of the system. Uh, in addition to the to the interference the optical path de described the, uh, in the last uh, page, the system also includes a monitoring and the calibration part. Uh, it includes two mirrors and a camera, which are used to visually detect the fringes. And uh, this page uh, shows the frame rate table that the system can achieve. For, for, for 512 by 512 original size images, staggered reconstruction to this scene 
can achieve a speed of 120 frames per second. And the 3D scene can achieve a speed of 72 frames per second. And now let's talk about the method of the software design. Uh, the software system can be divided into two big parts. Uh, they are country parts and the uh, reconstruction parts. The country part mainly includes three modules, camera control, microscope C axis control, and data acquisition card control. The camera control module is used to set the basic parameters of the camera. And the microscope C axis control is mainly used to move the microscope C axis focus position according to the set range and scanning mode after setting the scanning C axis range. And uh, as to complete the three dimensional image acquisition. The data acquisition card control is mainly used to output control uh, signals according to the set parameters. Uh, and the other part is uh, the reconstruction part. The main functions of the software reconstruction part include, uh, include uh, synchronization with the country part and uh, image reconstruction. And uh, with the country part, it is realized through the reconstruction control model. And the uh, image reconstruction is mainly realized through the acquisition thread and the reconstruction thread. And in the section of reconstruction optimization steps, we compared the effects and the speeds of different uh, algorithms. In the left figure, we could see that uh, the RLC can get the best reconstruction effect, whether it is a, a partic particle or seal. The dual filter of hi-fi scene can better eliminate, eliminate the background than the winner filter of a uh, fair scene. And finally, we designed the software developed by the Qt software and the GPU programming language CUDA. Uh, this figure shows the GUI of the real-time SIM system software. And next, uh, we'll show the functions of the software. Uh, from left to right, uh, they are data acquisition model to control the data, control data acquisition card output and the same reconstruction model to control the parameters of super resolution reconstruction of image. And the, the camera control model to control the camera in the live mode. And then the remaining two functions are image display model and the uh, operation control model. Uh, but uh, for, for time reasons, their functions will not be introduced in detail here. And then we proved the system's capability of real-time scene imaging and the 2D scene, turf scene, and the 3D scene imaging. Uh, let's see a video. Uh, this video shows the progress uh, in real-time 2D scene a reconstruction mode. The image speed is 10 FPS and the uh, exposure time is set to 30 milliseconds. And the, the original image size is 512 by 512 pixels. And we can see the uh, the speed is, uh, is uh, uh, we can say, fast. And 
uh, we ver verify the actual resolution enhancement capability of the 2D scene. And the following experiments are conducted under turf scene imaging. Uh, we can see the figure A and the B show the reconstruction and the wide field images of the 120 nanometers nanoscale ruler. And the figures C and the D show the reconstruction and the wide field images of the 90 nanometers nanoscale ruler. Two fluorescent, two fluorescent uh, marker sets are indistinguishable in the wide field can be differentiated in the turf scene, reconstructed uh, images. And uh, figure E and uh, F show the, e, show the intensity distribution curves of the yellow line in the same reconstruction image of the nanoscale at 100 uh, and the 20 nanometers and the 90 nanometers. Uh, we can see the yellow line in the uh, above four pictures above. The distances between the two peaks in the curve were 128 nanometers and uh, 88 nanometers. The measurement re results agree with the non ruler spacing, and it can be observed that a resolution of 90 nanometers can be achieved using this system. And then we image the mitochondria of Q-fib cells. Uh, the figure A and B show the 2D scene reconstruct reconstruction and the wide field image. And the uh, uh, C and the D shows the turf scene reconstruction and the wide field image. Uh, we can see in the figure E and the F, uh, the, comp the comparison shows that the turf seam has a lower background and less out of focus information. And then we image the, the 3D seam images of the mitochondrial structure. And we can compare this seam reconstruction and the wide field figures. It can be observed that the resolution and the context of the scene reconstruction image were improved in the lateral direction. And from figures and from figure three C, we can see the, the extra resolution of 3D scene and the slice capability are uh, improved. And here these figures show our uh, four different samples under 3D scene imaging. Uh, we can see the reconstruction effect is, uh, is good. And we also image the live cells for a period of time. Uh, this is an accelerated video of the partial reconstruction results. And we can see microscopic movements of this of the live source cells. And finally, the following is a conclusion of our work. In our experiment, we build a set of same system based on EOM and the galvanometers, and its supporting software system. Our system can flexibly switch between three different uh, scene imagery mode, modes. Uh, they, they are uh, 2D scene, turf scene, and uh, 3D scene. And we design the hardware process timing control of uh, imaging original image shooting. And meanwhile, we combine the timing of hardware and uh, the same algorithm flow to design the supporting software and which is suitable for our hardware system. Uh, that's all for my presentation. Uh, thank you very much.